Namaste, friends, and welcome back to day 17 of our 30-day meditation transformation program. I hope you're having beautiful experiences. Thank you for sharing them with me. I'm really enjoying to read your comments along the way. Uh, I wanted to go a little bit deeper into the technique that we mentioned, that we learned yesterday, witnessing that space between the breath, because there can be a lot of confusion. It is one that's, I don't know, so simple, but really can be challenging for the mind. So as we're witnessing the flow of breath, using any method we want to witness the breath, feeling it however works best for your mentality at this point, and we're witnessing the space between the breath. We're not looking for the space between the breath. Okay, we're not sitting there and we're like, okay, it's gonna come, it's gonna come, it's gonna come. Oh, that's the space. And then, uh, okay, okay, there's gonna be another one. There's gonna be another. Oh, that's the space. We wanna be fully present through the whole thing. Okay, so we're still witnessing the natural flow of breath. We're still feeling all the sensations, whether we're feeling the prana, whether we're feeling the breath on the lip, whether we're feeling the lungs and trachea, whatever it is that we're feeling, we're still feeling that the whole time. And when that space, that reversal of the breath comes, we are extra aware there, okay? There's a difference between being aware in that moment, instantly aware, and looking for it, waiting for it, and being like, oh, is it gonna happen, is it gonna happen? It's not easy, I, I don't kid you, it's not. Let me give you a metaphor. Imagine you're at the shopping mall, and you're in the food court, really busy place, lots of people around, and you're, you're sitting and you're eating your food, and, and you're, you're in your world, you know, you're eating, hopefully you're being very present when you're eating and not texting on the phone or something, but you're, you're in your space, and you're present with that, you're fully present with what you're doing, whether you're eating, you're drinking, whatever it is you're doing. If someone in the next table mentions your name, maybe they don't even know you, but they mention your name, immediately you are more aware, <sighs> Andrew, Oh, you know, it, you are instantly aware the second that your name is uttered. No matter who it is, whether it's a friend or somebody you don't know, there's something inside you that says, oh, be aware, it's, it's, it's me, or there's something that I need to be aware of. Now, that awareness happens instantly, whether you're looking for it, waiting for it or not, it will happen instantly. You know, even if you're fully present, it'd be like, Andrew. So this is the receptivity we want to bring to that space between the breath okay we are not looking for it we are fully present to what we were we are doing and what we are doing is the breath we are fully present to all the sensations of the breath that flow of energy and that moment when the breath stops we are there we are fully in that moment it's it's woken us up it's like oh that's the space between the breath and when that finishes, we are fully present again. Just like if that person was, ah, it wasn't, it wasn't talking to me. I go back to eating. And then all of a sudden, Andrew, again. But the difference is that eventually you will be like, oh, it's not for me. And you will start to ignore it. This space between the breath, we want to be aware every time like it's new. Okay, it's a training. It's training. Put the puppy back on the pillow. <laughs> Put the puppy back on the pillow. Same idea here. Think of it. Eating. I'm eating the prana with my breath. Andrew, that space, I'm awake, I'm there, I'm present. And then it, it subsides. And it's, it's not even a second maybe. Maybe it's one second, maybe it's half a second. But that moment can be infinite. There is a moment there between the breath where everything switches. Your entire energetic being switches from reception to expression. And that space between that switch, there is this timeless, infinite, shunya, void, expansion of consciousness. And if you can be really aware, even for a microsecond of that point, a massive expansion of consciousness happens. So this is what we are witnessing, not looking for. This is not what we're looking for, not what we're waiting for. If we're waiting for it, if I'm waiting for Buddy to call my name, I'm not enjoying my food. I'm eating my food and I'm dropping it on the floor. I'm a messy eater, I don't know. And I'm not really enjoying it. I'm not really getting the nutrients because I'm waiting for that. We don't want that. Be fully present with your breath. And that moment, let it wake you up. And then go back to the breath. And then let it wake you up again. And continue that. That's it. Let's go do it. Today's recommended asana will be Ardha Siddhasana. We go back to the half perfect pose. So we will start with the legs extended wide 
And remember, we're always going to start with the left leg. Today's day one of Ardha Siddhasana. So we're going to start by bending the left leg and bringing the heel to the perineum or opening of the yoni. So we're sitting on it. Remember, take a block, take a cushion if you need for support. And then the other heel, we're just going to stack in front. So the heels are stacked here in line, nice and grounded, but really pressing into that heel. I do really recommend a block or cushion for this one because it's good to have the hips elevated, especially if you're in the earlier stages of your practice. So coming in to the position, pressing the seat down, reaching the crown of the head up, shoulders back and down so the heart is open, close the eyes, go inside, take a deep inhalation through the nose, then open the mouth side out, <sighs> soften the body, soften the mind. Again, deep inhalation. Open the mouth, sigh it out. <sighs> For this last breath, bring a cute little smile to your face. Deep inhalation. Open the mouth, sigh it out. <sighs> a little smile makes everything better. And from here, sitting with the eyes closed. Start to bring your awareness to the natural flow of respiration. Breathing in and out through the nose. Allow each breath to soften the body, to relax the mind, to bring you deeper into a state of presence. Allow the mind to grow quiet, soft and subtle and become fully present to the sensations of the breath in any form of sensation that works for you witnessing only the natural flow of breath in and out through the nose and as you witness the breath be fully aware to all stages of the breath and be extra aware of that moment of the space between the breath. Let that space wake you up and then go back to the breath. And then let the next space wake you up. And if at any point you notice the mind starting to wander gently with love, know to yourself, I'm thinking, I'm coming back to the breath.
Coming back to the breath. Coming back to the space between the breath. Sitting with the eyes closed, attention turned inside. Become aware of your overall state of being after the practice. How do you feel in your body, your energy, emotions and mind? Expressing gratitude for this experience for these teachings, for the time and effort you've taken for yourself. Mm, thank you, thank you, thank you. Deep inhalation into the heart. And as you exhale, gently coming back. So again, I can say my deepest thank you to you, 
Hope you're enjoying. I hope you feel calm and quiet and in that spaciousness. Let me know how it is. Smash like because it helps us out. And I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Namaste.